don't mind kind of kind of answering in complete sentences to the questions I asked. Oh, like no. <laughs> No student should be afraid to go to school. Texas must act now to make our schools safer. It really is a fear, mm -hmm. like whether it's like noticeable or not, like we're all afraid to go to school. We've been hearing about shootings for honestly as long as I can remember going to school. Right? Like when I hear about another school shooting, I'm it hurts, but I'm not shocked. Which is terrible. It's terrible, but that's the reality. Three people tell me at least eight students died in today's mass shooting. And next thing you know, everybody looks and you hear boom, boom, boom. Last May there was a shooting at Santa Fe High School where ten died. And so lawmakers feel like it's really important for them to address school safety. We're obviously going to be doing a lot of work on this. The first draft, it's an omnibus school safety bill. It's going to come. We always talk about education being our number one priority for the state, but really it's right below public safety. If kids aren't safe, it's hard to get them educated. And if they don't feel safe, it's hard to really concentrate on their studies. The best thing we can do is uh, prevent. And that really starts with mental health intervention counseling. Like a number two with cheese, please. How are you, bro? Here at Westwood, you know, we're fortunate that we have a crisis counselor that, that is on staff. Um, it is far from enough to, to really serve our whole community the way it, it should be served. So, um, yeah, legislatively, I think that would be another wonderful ask. I agree that I think it's, like, better, like, if we do have more access to, like, like a crisis counselor almost, or like we some. Have one of those we we have do. One. I've we never met her, but I know I've she exists because they've said it on the announcement. But Seriously. also, like, I don't know <laughs> how to get to her. Like, yeah. I understand that the legislation faces all of these needs, and there's only a, <laughs> a finite pot of money. But for sure, the mental health piece to me is as critical as, as anything that we're doing. <laughs> It allows school employees to become on-campus marshals and carry weapons. The school marshal pro program was signed into law a few sessions ago, and essentially what it does is it gives school teachers the ability to have handguns on campus. They have to be trained, they have to be approved by the district. They have to keep their firearms under lock and key in their classrooms. There are efforts afoot this legislative session to change the Marshall program. In the Senate, they approved a bill that would get rid of the lockbox requirement so that teachers who are trained as marshals can carry their weapons. We have areas of this state are more than happy to have coaches, teachers, whoever volunteers that wants to do that. And the idea is to have that quick response. We're not talking about seeing guns in the classroom. Frankly, I'd rather the students not know who has the guns. The idea that somebody may be there with a gun makes them think a little bit more about what they're going to do. In my opinion, like arming teachers makes me more scared. That's ridiculous. I, I have teachers that I really don't like, and imagine, <laughs> right? What well, everyone yeah, does, I would be genuinely afraid if they had a gun. I just feel like that if there's a problem with you know people getting hurt from guns, how does adding more guns fix the problem? I feel like there's a different solution that could be better. I mean. Uh, my personal preference would be more gun control. A lot of these gun control measures that we're seeing have been proposed by Democrats and they're not going to really go far in a Republican dominated legislature. I mean there's any number of ways to kill people. To focus on one thing is not the panacea of providing safety. We, we've got to take in the whole thing and that's where I think prevention is the most important thing and, and frankly taking guns away from law-abiding citizens is not the answer. If you have more gun control, it doesn't mean that there's no people getting guns. Mm -hmm. It means that it is only possible for sane people with real reasons to get them. And all the gun control discussions had nothing to do with Santa Fe. It was his parent shotgun. He was a 17-year-old. So any of the gun control measures you've ever heard would not have applied in this case. They're not doing anything. So neither in the mental health area or in gun control, they're just kind of, I feel like it's just stalling. One of the main roots of the issues is it's a lot of adults in government saying, you know, I'm the adult, I know what's best, I'm gonna do what I think is best, you're a kid, right? 
frankly, I don't think students are probably the best to tell you how to do something because they don't, they don't know of all the things that are going on. We certainly need their input. We had a lot of input from students. We tried to work with everybody who has an interest in, and has knowledge of this. If you don't have to deal with the possibility of getting killed at school, then you're not going to be as worried about the safety. We don't need people panicking over this. We can take care of this. We can do reasonable things to make sure it doesn't happen. I think we'll feel better, and I think the people of Texas will feel better after we get through with this. The chief reason I come to work every day is to make sure that the students and the staff are as safe as possible. And I'm appreciative that, that the lawmakers are, are making our students' safety a priority. When you're elected as legislator of Texas, your first duty is to serve the people, especially the youth and the students. So protecting schools and making sure that every student feels secure is definitely, that's your responsibility and that's our right as citizens to expect that from you. Da 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 da